The City of Ramsey proposes to mill and overlay two segments of Sunwood Drive with the 2021 MSA Pavement Overlay Improvements Project. This project is identified as Improvement Project number 21-05. Please follow this public information presentation to gather more information about the project. During this presentation, we will give a brief introduction to the City of Ramsey engineering staff we will review the purpose of this pavement overlay project and give the scope of the project. We will review the existing conditions of the streets included in the project and the proposed improvements associated with the pavement overlay. We will review the preliminary estimated project costs as well as the project funding sources. Please know that properties will not be assessed for these improvements. Finally, we will go over the preliminary project schedule and discuss the best ways to stay informed about the project. My name is Joe Ferryanchek. I'm the project engineer for the 2021 MSA Pavement Overlay Improvements Project. The engineering division is made up of six full-time staff members. Our offices are located on the second floor of City Hall. Our staff includes City Engineer Bruce Westby, Civil Engineers Leonard Linton and myself, Field Construction Inspectors Aaron Madsen and Logan Check, and Administrative Assistant Marcia Widener. The 2021 MSA Pavement Overlay Improvements is identified in the 2021 through 2030 Capital Improvement Program. This program is a budgeting tool used by the City to help forecast expenditures and City Council authorization is required before a project can move forward. The program can be found on the City of Ramsey website. The purpose of this project is to extend the useful life of the pavement by replacing the top layer of bituminous called the wearing course. This is done by milling the top two inches of pavement and placing two inches of new bituminous pavement. The streets selected to overlay are generally around 20 years old and the pavement will be expected to have some cracking that is not yet severe, such as alligator cracking, which is a sign of structural deficiencies. The pavement overlay is expected to last 15 to 20 years and is anticipated to be completed twice in the 60 year design life of the pavement, but this varies from street to street. Generally existing cracks will reflect through the new pavement after one to two years. After overlaying, Minor maintenance work, typically crack sealing, is performed during the expected life of the pavement overlay. Municipal utility improvements are not proposed as part of the pavement overlay project. Minor adjustments to storm sewer catch basins located in the curb line will be made as needed. Adjustments to manhole frames and valve covers located in the pavement will be made. These minor adjustments are made to ensure the iron castings sit at the proper height within the new pavement. There are no proposed impacts to private properties. Minor spot curb replacement will be done, which will require turf restoration adjacent to the work, but this is typically contained within one to two feet behind the curb and well within the city owned right of way. This project will mill and overlay 0.72 miles of municipal state aid streets within the city, which is comprised of two segments of Sunwood Drive. Sunwood Drive between Bunker Lake Boulevard and Sunfish Lake Boulevard, and Sunwood Drive between Erkium Street and Trunk Highway 47. Sunwood Drive between Bunker Lake Boulevard and Sunfish Lake Boulevard is shown in the exhibit. On an annual basis, City staff reviews every segment of streets within the city using the Pavement and Surface Evaluation Rating, PASER. The rating scale is from 0 to 10, with 10 being a new pavement. In 2020, this segment of Sunwood Drive received a PASER of 7. This segment of Sunwood Drive was constructed in 2002 as an urban collector street with concrete curb and gutter. Ground penetrating radar GPR takes readings of the ground at one foot intervals and can determine the thickness of bituminous pavement and aggregate base. The city hired a firm to drive city streets built before 2001 and determine the existing pavement section using a truck mounted GPR system. 
GPR data found an average of 4.0 inches bituminous pavement and 2.4 inches aggregate base on Sunwood Drive between Bunker Lake Boulevard and Sunfish Lake Boulevard. Sunwood Drive between Erkiem Street and Trunk Highway 47 is shown in the exhibit. In 2020, this segment of Sunwood Drive received a PASER of 7. This segment of Sunwood Drive was constructed in 2000 as an urban collector street with concrete curb and gutter. GPR data found an average of 4.2 inches bituminous pavement and 2.2 inches aggregate base on Sunwood Drive between Erkiem Street and Trunk Highway 47. The proposed improvements for the project are a 2-inch mill and overlay of the bituminous pavement. The anticipated process is as follows. Spot concrete curb and gutter will be removed and replaced. City staff checks the curb before the project begins and finds damaged curb needing replacement. Patching to more severely damaged pavement will be completed. In general, not much patching is anticipated with this project and is only completed when needed. Any storm sewer catch basins with, which have settled relative to the adjacent curb flow line will be reset. The other catch basins will be regrouted as needed. Regrouting is an inexpensive maintenance practice which can extend the life of the storm sewer structure. The entire width of the pavement will receive a 2 inch deep mill. Any casting such as manhole covers and valve box covers will be adjusted to ensure they are the proper height in relation to the final pavement elevation. Finally, two inches of new bituminous pavement is placed on the street. After pavement rolling has been completed, the new pavement can be driven on. This typically is within 20 to 30 minutes after the pavement has been laid down by the paved machine. Once the project has begun, it is anticipated to take four to six weeks to complete, weather dependent. In general, mill and overlay improvements rely on moving operations. The mill machine will mill out eight to 10 feet wide strips of pavement and operates at a walking pace. The paved machine will place new pavement down on the street in two phases and also operates at a walking pace with rollers compacting the pavement behind the machine. For either operation, it's generally expected to take at most five minutes for the operation to move past and a vehicle to safely use the street once again. Caution must always be used when traveling through the construction zone and drivers are expected to slow down. After milling has been completed, the surface is uneven, which can make driving, walking, or riding a bicycle more difficult. If you see pavement that looks wet during the paving operations, do not drive on it. This is likely the bituminous tack coat which is placed before the new pavement. The tack will stick to the paint on your vehicle. During preliminary design, staff estimated project costs to be $324,000. This includes 10% contingency costs and 23% indirect costs. Indirect costs include administration, engineering, finance, and legal costs associated with the project. It should be noted the estimate is preliminary design level, meaning quantities in the estimate are assumed and may change during design. The funding for the project is proposed to be $313,000 coming from municipal state aid funds and $11,000 from stormwater utility funds there will be no assessments associated with this project. On January 12, 2021, City Council ordered plans and specifications for the 2021 MSA pavement overlay improvements. Staff plans to bring the final plans and specifications to City Council on March 9th for approval and authorization to advertise for bids. In the interim, Staff asks impacted properties to reach out with any concerns about the project and to inform us of any specific requests they would like us to be aware of. Staff is planning to receive bids on April 6th and assuming good bids are received, will bring the lowest responsible bid to City Council on April 13th for consideration to award a contract for the improvements. 
This schedule could allow the construction to begin in early June of 2021. Staff will require, by contract, the project be complete by late August of 2021. Residents and properties should be aware that the city can only control when contractors are given authorization to proceed and that completion dates are met, with penalties to the contractor for not meeting deadlines. The contractor has the flexibility within the start and finish dates to proceed on the project at their pace, though once they begin construction, they must continually work towards completion. Weather can also play a key role in the progress of a construction project. Thank you for following this informational presentation for the 2021 MSA Pavement Overlay Improvements Project. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to me by email or phone. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, I'm currently working remotely and email is the preferred method of contact and will typically receive the quickest response. The best place for project information including project updates during design and construction, is the project webpage. The webpage can be found on the City of Ramsey website on the Engineering Division webpage.